hi everyone welcome back to my channel dash of sash and today you'll be getting ready with me when i say get ready i mean getting dressed with me today So what's exciting about today's video is that for the very first time on my YouTube channel, I am going to feature one of the designs that I made by yours truly, Sash Designers Collection. For those of you who don't know, I am aspiring to become a successful fashion designer. And so I design my own clothes and you can check out my designs on my Instagram page available on the Dropbox below. This outfit is intended to give out a flora, a Caribbean tropical vibes. As you can see, there are flowers, there are leaves on the outfit. And I am wearing a hibiscus flower in my hair, which is a popular flower here in Trinidad and Tobago. So coming together, I hope to achieve this floral Caribbean tropical vibes with this outfit. A disclaimer before we start today, I am not a makeup artist, however I do my own makeup and so some of the techniques used probably is not by the books, but this is just how I do my makeup. So I'm excited to have you here with me today to get ready, to get dressed for this display of my design, my very first design displayed on my YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoy. So the first product is Retinol Anti-Aging Day Cream and this is infused with Dead Sea Minerals and I'm just going to equally distribute it on my face and so I'm rubbing it in using a circular and upward movement. Now I'm going to apply my foundation, my Caramia cream to powder foundation i don't know if this is surprising to some of you all but i do not wear liquid foundation um it's just my personal preference i do not like too many liquid stuff on my face and so i just stick with the usual creamy foundation Using an applicator sponge i try to evenly distribute the foundation on my face The next product is Jordana's Complete Coverage Concealer and as I said before I do not like too many liquids on my face and so I'm just spotting these on to the places that I have a few marks. And for that extra coverage, I'm using Ruby Kisses HD Concealer just to make sure that I cover those marks and I'm going to apply it under my eyes for those dark circles. And so I am applying the concealer to my under eye area, which is a bit dark. And so I just want to lighten up that area. Using a beauty blender sponge, I just want to carefully blend these products into my skin in order for it to look as natural as possible. And so I'm just blending, blending, blending. To further blending these products, I'm using my blending brush to ensure that all the products are evenly distributed on my face. Next, I'm using Pro Primer HD Eyeshadow Primer. This is good to take out any excess grease that may be on your eyelids and so I'm using that to give it a, a brighter and a smoother finish when we finish applicating eyeshadow. 
And so we just want to use our blending brush and just blend in the primer. Next, we're going to use Juvia's Place, the Saharan Number no. 2 palette, and from that, I'm using the shade Taza. Now, I wanted a more of a natural look, and hence the reason why I'm using neutral colors. I'm not going to be using any dark colors on my crease. For the inner part of my eye, I'm now going to use the shade Marrakesh from the same Juvia Place Saharan palette. And so you can see it's a nice shimmery, ghoulish, orangish, copperish color. The key thing in this is to ensure that the colors are blended properly in order to give a smooth look. So for my teardrop, I'm going to apply Caramia's Goddess. It's a golden color and I'm just going to apply it using a tiny brush to my teardrop. This will give it a nice golden finish. I like my eyes very black, especially my eyeliner. And so after applying gel liner, I also apply an additional eyeliner just to get that black finish. I love to highlight my eyes, especially the teardrop area. After this, I'm just using my smudging brush to just get that smoky look underneath. For my brow area, I am applying the shade Aziza. So this is a lighter shade than the Marrakesh and so this is just going to highlight the brows. Notice I am not using any loud makeup for this look. I just want to be simple and have a popping red lipstick in the end. Next, I'm shaping out my wing on my eyelid. This takes a little time and practice. So after practicing, practicing it, eventually doing a wing will just become so easy. For mascara, I'm using L'Oreal's Voluminous False Lashes. Now, I do not wear false eyelashes unless I'm going to a very special occasion. The reason being, I don't think that I need lashes because my natural eyelashes are already long. And so I just use a popping mascara in order to highlight it. Up next, I'm going to lightly contour my face using Caramia's Loose Powder in which I am applying to my under eye area. Another good product for this is Sasha's Buttercup. It works very well for the under eye area and contouring. And so I'm using Jordana's Contour Stick to just 
give that cheekbone a uh, contour and highlight. To give that final matte finish, I'm using Just Color Matte Powder. This works well for me and I'm just going to apply it on my face. And now for my favorite part to apply my lipstick, I am using MAX Lip Liner Cherry and MAX Lipstick called Ruby Woo. And so let's head over to getting dressed and where I show you my fashion design, sash designers collection, my tropical design. <laughs> 